Okay, so I actually did this video once and the uh, screen capture wasn't working right. All I caught was my voice, so I'm going to attempt to do this again. So um, this is my first video for this channel. Basically, I just want to show amateurs the types of things they can do pretty easily. Okay, this isn't by no means... Uh, you know, it's scratching the surface of what a lot of this software can do. And this software isn't even the Adobe stuff. I mean, if you, you know, for, for the Photoshop experts and everything, they've, they're in their own universe. Okay. This, this is, I use Affinity's products and they're quite good. But even, you know, I barely scratch the surface of what you can do with this stuff. I'm not a graphic designer. I work in technology, but just in technology, I just do this on the side because I think it's fun. So I do a lot of different things with this. You can do t-shirt designs. You can do greeting cards. You can do posters for your kid. You could like for parties and stuff, you can cut them out of one picture and put them in another. So I'm just showing some, some stuff here. I'm going to be doing different videos on things, you know, different t-shirt designs and stuff like that to, to populate this channel. But to show you, I have these two fun, fun photographs here. Um, Basically, uh, here's one of a uh, funny, it's like a U.S. Air Force plane, like a B-52. And here we have a U.S. Air Force flying saucer, which I'm sure is just somebody's Photoshop skills. And then over here, you've got an astronaut in outer space. So just some simple things you can do. I already have the end results because I ran through this video. But just to show you the type of things I did, um, if I switch over to these tools, this selection tool, you can actually... You can select elements within an image, right? So if you were to select this, as much of it as you can, right? And then you add or subtract. Subtract is if I, if I were to say select too much, then I would subtract and get rid of that, right? So then I do refine. Now, this is the image. Now you can smooth it a little bit, right? See, see how it's, so it's not so choppy. You do have to be careful with that because with intricate stuff, you can end up losing part of it. So here you go. This is pretty good. So I'm going to copy that. Now here's my astronaut. Oh, look, there's my flying saucer now in outer space, and I can make it look like it's far away, off in the distance, what's that? Or maybe make it a little larger so you can see the U.S. Air Force writing on it, right? <clears throat> Stuff like that. So other things you can do is you can play with lighting. I played with lighting in uh, the other program. Um, this is... Um, Affinity Designer, which is kind of like Adobe Illustrator, which you can, you have a lot of the photo tools, but not everything in here. But you also have a lot of text tools that you don't have in the photo. So in photo, which is more like Photoshop, here's the uh, here's the original image. I, I had two UFOs in it, right? This is actually a PNG file that I made from that. But if I were to open, uh, I don't have it handy. But if I, if I were to open that file, you know, you can, like you said, you can paste the stuff in here. You can play with lighting. So let's, let's look for, um, where's the lighting tool? I forget where these things are because I don't use them all the time. I really don't use the lighting all that much. Um, forgive me because, where is it? Lighting. Oh, there it is. So, like, here you got lighting, right? So you can play with your lighting, you know, how you want the image to be lit. You can play with the types of light, right? So, basically, you could change the color. So I changed the color to red. And what I ended up with, with the arrangement I had, I, I ended up with this. Now, what also, you notice that, See the astronaut kind of twisted and these things twisted a little. I was also playing around with with this, this was it the mesh warp tool? No, wait a minute, sorry. 
Um, no. <clears throat> Where is it? There was a tool I was using. Uh, liquify mesh clone. Is that it? Or is it liquify twirl? It was one of these. I think it was. The, yeah. See that? See that? You can like turn them around a bit. So what I ended up with was was this image where it's along the, the theme of oh these UFOs use some kind of anti gravity technology and they they twist and bend space time so things are kind of getting a little twisty and I added the red and then what I also ended up with was I took I also cut out this astronaut and I created a second astronaut. Um, and here's what you have. And then you have these text, which you could also do in designer. It's very versatile is, um, you can like add text first. If I wanted to curve it like that, I use this thing, any kind of shape. It doesn't matter. I like this for arc shapes and then I, uh, convert to text path. And then what happens is when you, you put this stuff in here, um, you could then, you know, say that, say you have some kind of a, right, and then you start typing away. See, text here, and you can play with the size of it, right? And you can also play with the outline of it and you can even play with the ultimate color of it and then uh, you can move it around like over here and then when you export the whole thing to uh, an image file you flatten it all out so you end up with something like this so it's pretty cool. You can do a lot of things. There's the other astronaut. He's, say he's exiting that saucer or something. So it, you can do a lot of stuff. Now you can you can you can use these things for. You can create T-shirts. You can create greeting cards. You can, like I said, the, the sky's the limit. Uh, for my kid's birthday party last year, it was a pizza party out. So I I, I cut her out of an image and I put. Uh, a pepperoni pizza in her hand as if she was holding it. I took a picture of her with her hands out like she was holding something. And then I superimposed a big, beautiful pepperoni pizza in her hands. It looks like she's holding it. And then I put her in a scene of like a little restaurant I created from different uh, vector graphics. And it was pretty cool. I even had a little rat sitting at a tiny little table in the room holding up a sign about how our pizza is the best. You could do so much with these things and you don't need to be a graphics design professional. Uh, you don't have to be buying all these gigs on these sites. Um, yeah, if it's a one-off deal, that's great. But if, if, if you like being creative, um, you save yourself a lot of money. And also you can do a lot of really cool things um, with this. So anyway, hopefully this video came okay. This is more proof of concept for myself that I'm starting this channel. Then I'm going to do little things. I'm going to do little t-shirt designs and stuff like that as uh, time goes on. And, uh, you know, we'll learn together too. Like I said, I'm not a professional with this. Like you've got brushes and things. You've got all these different brushes. You can add add-ons onto these programs. You can add custom brushes and things. So uh, we'll play around a little bit as uh, time goes on. And, you know, it's not always going to be pretty. It's not always going to be pretty. But, um, you know. We'll try to have some fun with this. Like, like here's the brushes, right? So, like, see, see the kind of, kind of. I don't want the assistant. You can you can play with these things. You can say you can you can play around. You can uh, you know get a little artsy with things. You know, say you wanted to do like you know, I don't know, say. 
rainbow effects and stuff like with brushes and you know you can do all kinds of crazy things with this it's it's kind of cool you can you know look at this just this little stuff like this some people may just consider this sloppy whatever but you know there's certain little maybe leave this part alone right and uh you know like some more color and uh Okay. So now it's got like a different, you know, a little messy. Maybe I shouldn't have colored him and I should have just gone around him. Or you can cut him out, do all your colors, and then superimpose him back on so that he's in front of this rainbow effect. You can do a lot of that stuff. You play around. You play around. The results aren't always going to be pretty. Sometimes you trash it. You, you look at it as a concept, and then uh, it may be something you like or that you can uh, use. And then sometimes you say, oh, that didn't work out. I'll just, won't save it. And I'll go back to the original file and start over. But the bottom line is this kind of thing is easy for anyone to do and to learn. And these programs are really cheap. You're talking between like 30 and $50 to own it. It's not even a subscription. Um, they're available for Windows and Mac. Uh, and they're so easy to use. And you don't need to be shelling out the Adobe prices, especially if you're not like a professional designer working for some outfit somewhere. Um, like I said, you can you can uh, you can buy all sorts of fonts and graphics and brushes and things like that and add them to stuff like this. Uh, check links around my videos for that kind of stuff. Uh, for resources like that. So it's really just compiling your portfolio of tools, your toolbox, and then you have the software and you can do amazing things. This is a lot of fun. I, I For me, it's almost like therapy. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you like it. hope you click the thumbs up and subscribe and uh, help me build this channel a little bit. Um, and let's have some fun. So thank you and uh, see you later.